Hey everybody, it's Bunny back for another video. Today I'm doing the long awaited sequel to my delay video. In other words, how to get less delay. So I'm gonna go over a couple of steps and I'm gonna talk about a couple of products and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this and it'll help you out. All right, so for the first step, what we're gonna do is disable apps that are running in the background. Now, I'm not talking about like Discord or anything like that. I'm talking about the sneaky apps that you don't know are running that you can't close from Task Manager, the ones you aren't aware that are affecting your delay. So the way we're gonna do this, we're going to go to the Windows search bar. We're gonna type in background apps. We're gonna go ahead and toggle let apps run in the background and switch that to off. All right, so for the second part of this, what you're gonna do is type Task Manager into your Windows search bar. When it opens, you're gonna go to the Startup tab. You're gonna disable every app that you don't need starting up as soon as you start your PC. What this will do is lower the processes running on your PC until you need them. That could drastically increase your FPS and it can also lower your input delay. Finally, for this part, what you want to do is make sure you don't have any extra apps running in the drop-down box that's located right here. Alright, so next what we're going to do is download an app called Timer Resolution. There's a link in the description below if you don't already have that. This is something that can reduce your input delay by up to half. Alright, so what you need to do is open it. You're going to click Maximum. And then you're just going to minimize it. Do not close it completely, okay? Just minimize it. Also, if it for some reason says 4.96 for you instead of 5.0, what you're gonna do is open Command Prompt on Administrator down here. You're gonna go ahead and run these three commands. I'm gonna also put those commands in the description so you'll have them. And then you restart your computer and it should have switched to 5.0 instead and give you way less delay. All right, so before I finish telling you about delay, I do need to let you know about something that I've been using by this company called Gear Up. It is a gaming router and it helps me get lower latency and ping in Fortnite. It's Gear Up's Hyper EV router. You can use it for PC or console. And what it does is it optimizes your route to the server. So it keeps your ping even. So instead of going from like 50 to 200 and back down to 75, it'll just give you nice steady ping so that you can play your game effectively. For people that suffer from being in the wrong part of the country with the server switching or having terrible internet infrastructure, this can really level the playing field for you. So I highly recommend it. I'm going to go ahead and put a link below in the description along with some stuff where you can get up to $50 worth of coupons or even a free $10 gift card for submitting feedback to them. So make sure you check that out. Besides that, they also have a game booster. It has the ability to switch to any servers of your choice. You could do that in seconds. It helps to increase the internet quality for people that have weak internet or live away from the servers and so on. Make sure you check that out. I'm going to go ahead and finish the delay video now, but make sure you ask if you have any questions or whatever. Alright, so the last step is only necessary if you have an NVIDIA GPU. You can find out if you have one by searching up Device Manager, and then you can go ahead and check if your GPU says NVIDIA or AMD. After you do that, you install the NVIDIA Control Panel from the Microsoft Store if you don't already have it installed. You open the control panel and go to Manage 3D Settings. You turn Low Latency Mode to Ultra and change OpenGL Rendering GPU to your GPU. After this, you're done with all the steps and your delay should be a lot better. But if it's not, once again, I encourage you to check out the links below for the Hyper-V Gaming Router and for the Game Booster. They really can help change things for you. Thank you. Bye.